Hey folks, it's Timmy Boy here with the DS106 design assignment tutorial. Um, you know, one of the things I hear a lot from people who talk about wanting to do these design assignments is, you know, I don't have Photoshop, um, I don't know how to really create something like that with, you know, Microsoft Paint or something, um, you know, so how do I go about doing something a little bit more creative uh, without spending a whole lot of money on software? Uh, so one of the challenges that I gave myself is that I wanted to start using some more online free tools and one of them that I'm going to show you now is called Aviary. Um, they have a whole suite of design uh, tools available to you and actually if you go down here to this advanced suite you can see uh, they've got an image editor, effects editor, um, they do stuff with uh, vectors, um, even an audio editor and things like that. So what we're going to do is run through a big hip-hop design assignment. So the basic premise of this assignment is that you take a rap lyric and then overlay it on top of a picture from uh, the website The Big Picture and that's boston.com slash big picture. The way I like to go about doing this assignment is to find a really good lyric first, something that's a little bit descriptive where you can almost see a possible image in your head and then take that lyric and then find the right picture for it. It seems a little backwards but it actually ends up working well. So um, I've got this website open, ohhla.com, which has some hip-hop lyrics. I just Googled um, hip-hop lyrics and came up with this. And I'm thinking uh, Beastie Boys. So I'm going to go over here. All artists be, let's see here, Beastie Boys. <clears throat> and I'm just going to choose a song here, The Sounds of Science. And there's a line in here that I really like. Um, let me find it real quick. Here we go. Well, I figured out who makes the crack. It's the suckers with the badges and the blue jackets. Um, I like that line because it's very descriptive about what it's talking about. I think I can probably find a pretty good picture of an officer or a cop or something like that uh, that might work well. So I'm just going to open up a text editor and copy that in there. So I've got that in the background to work with. And then I'm going to go over here to the big picture and I need to find my picture. So, um, obviously if I'm looking for cops, I can look for something where they're talking about riots or something like that. So if I scroll down here, um, there's all kinds of news type uh, image galleries, but you can find pictures from anywhere. I just really like the big picture gallery because the images are usually very interesting. So this could be good, Libya Rebellion. I think I can probably find pictures of cops in here. So I'm going to start looking through some of them. and. You can see some of them are really interesting. Now that's sort of a cop, but he's not like the blue officer uniform type thing. So I'm going to keep looking here. That may be an issue with the type of cops that they have there. Let's keep scrolling down and see what we can find though. This dude's kind of interesting. That could probably make a good picture, but it doesn't quite go with my lyrics. So I'll keep looking. Some of these images can be kind of gruesome but what are you going to do? So I'll keep scrolling here. Now that's perfect. All right, this is really cool. It's kind of ironic, right? Because he's in an officer uniform. He's got the blue jacket, the badges, but it's a little kid. So this is the perfect image that I can use, and I think this will go well together. So what I'm going to do is Aviary actually lets you copy an image from a website directly into their program. So I don't have to save it to my computer or anything. What I'll do is I'll right click here and say open this image in a new tab so that I have the actual address of the image right here. And I'm going to copy that. So if I go back to Aviary, the program that I'm going to be using is called Phoenix. It's down here under the image editor for the advanced tool. So I'm going to launch that. And it gives me the option of starting from a scratch file or loading an image file. I'm going to load one from a URL. I'm going to copy in my image there and hit upload. So there we are. So now we're going to get started here. And you can see this has a really good um, interface. It looks really similar to Photoshop. We've got our tools along the left hand side. We've got layers, blend modes, um, opacity, all kinds of great things to work with. So the first thing, of course, I want to do is add some text on here. I've got my text over here of what I'm going to be using. So I'm going to open up my text tool. And choosing a font. I'll tell you, one. I really like to use Helvetica, but you can play around with this. Sometimes it's even nice to use um, a couple different fonts, or maybe you want to highlight a single word in the lyric um, by changing the font to something more dynamic and having the rest sort of being a normal typeface. Uh, 
I'm gonna go in here and just make the whole thing Helvetica. Why not? That's like standard design rules. When in doubt, choose Helvetica. And then for the color of the text, this is where it can get kind of interesting. Um, a lot of times the design pictures that don't work well with text on top of an image is when you can't see the text very well. And the color is a big reason because of that. What I like to do is pull out a color from the picture itself. And Aviary lets you do this. If you choose this custom color wheel, and I'm gonna move this off to the side here, this actually becomes an eyedropper tool that I can choose any color on here. And I think a very light color is gonna work well. Most of this image is a darker color. So I'm gonna take some of that white from his hat here. And I probably could have just chosen white, um, but you know, know that that's available. If you wanted to grab something from his collar, that would work as well. And then I hit OK, and that changes my color. So now I need to lay out my text on here, and then I've chosen my size and the font and all that good stuff. So go in here, and I'm thinking for my layout that I'm going to have the text separated between two halves. It looks like the top left and the bottom right are very open spaces, and this is a good, um, a good lyric that I can split up in half. So I'm going to take this first half of the lyric, and I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to paste it. And then I think, let's try this. So that looks pretty good. It's a little bit large. I'm gonna make it just a hair smaller. That's not bad. And then one style that I like to work with is if you select all this, you can actually um, close the gap on some of this. You know, normally you wouldn't think that that looks very well or very good. Uh, but I think it kind of adds to the um, to making the image interesting. So I'm going to do that. And actually, when I make it closer like that, I could probably bump up the size here just a tad. So that looks good. I'm going to take this move tool, the very top one. I'm going to move it up here. Now, one issue you'll notice here is look where the word makes is going into. Um, his helmet there and you actually lose the letter S. What I like to do here is add a little bit of a drop shadow to the text so that it stands out from the image. So what you can do here, and Aviary lets you do all of this, is there's an effects button down here for layer filters. It says it has to convert the text. Um, I'm not going to be able to edit it again, so make sure before you do this that you're happy with the typeface that you're using, uh, with the layout and all that good stuff. So I'll say yes. I'm going to add a shadow and I'm going to move it off to the side here. Now this isn't bad, but it's almost too strong. The shadow really makes it pop a bit too much. I don't really want it to do all of that. So this alpha setting here, I can knock that down a little bit. So that looks better. And I'm actually going to make it just a tad more blurry. Change the blur X and Y filters just to make it a little bit more blurry. So that looks good. If I hit OK here, now you can see it stands off a bit. You can actually see the letter S now, but it's not, you know, this cheesy drop shadow that's so obvious. Um, so let's do that same thing with my second half of the lyric. I'm going to copy the second half here. New text. All of my settings are still saved here. The only difference I want to change here is for the right side, I'm going to actually right align the font. So then I paste this in, and I think I'm going to do the same uh, three-line type deal here. So the suckers and the bad news. Do, do, do. And now we can move this eh, about right there. Same thing, I need to add my drop shadow again. This one almost doesn't need it as much because it's right over top of um, some more darker things. I don't have this problem with that white hat but I like to add it there anyway, just for consistency. Same thing, up my blur to eight, and drop the alpha down just a little bit, the opacity. And that's all there is to it. I'm gonna go ahead and export this image. And you get to choose what type of image you want, JPEG, um, is a popular one, so is a PNG file. I'm going to stick with PNG, ping. Um, 
and say generate image. Now I've got the download button and I can save it to my desktop. And we're done. There's my completed big hip hop assignment. Uh, that didn't take long at all and I think it looks pretty darn good for not having Photoshop. So that's the first of many tutorials that I plan on doing using tools like this. So I hope it helps you out. Take care.